the cool cats and kittens. Welcome back to Remote Learning with Miss Corwin. We are on day 12 of our narrative writing. We are so close to the end of our stories. So let's jump into it. So as you know, we had been brainstorming for the past few weeks and preparing, and we are going to be continuing to write our stories. And today we are writing body paragraph number three. So this is our third body paragraph. So it's technically the fourth paragraph, but the third body paragraph. So in this body paragraph, we're going to continue to talk about the most exciting part of our story. You probably started talking about that in body paragraph number two, but we're going to continue talking about it. And then it's going to come to an end in this paragraph. So you have either, so we're either going to be fixing the problem, ending the conflict, whatever the problem was, we are going to talk about it for a little bit and then we're going to fix it. It's going to come to an end. So some of the slides that might help you while you are writing would be in your narrative writing slides would be slides number seven, 10 and 11. These are going to give you inspiration. You probably already have some really beautiful sentences that you wrote in there and it's just going to make your story really strong and really interesting. So this is what uh, slide number seven, maybe it's one of the three. It's either seven, 10 or 11. So for me, I said that I had the sound of the crickets, the excitement of sneaking out, the heat in the air, the flickering of the fireflies. Uh, on this one, it, it was a little too hard to see in here. So I include over here. I see the soft glow of the fireflies flickering above my head. I hear the symphony of a million crickets. I actually already used this one in a different paragraph. The summer heat was suffocating, but I didn't care. The smell of rain lingered in the air. I already mentioned that one. I didn't know how to explain it, but I could taste the pine in the forest around me. So those are just some of the examples of the sentences that help to build really strong, interesting stories. So I'm gonna start at the very beginning of my story so we can see how it's moving forward. So this is my intro paragraph. This is how I start my story. Mom, are we there yet? I complained. We had already been driving for hours, and even though there was room to walk around in the RV, I was tired of not being able to go outside. I was having a lot of fun on this trip across the country, but being stuck in an RV for hours made my brain feel like it was melting. We'll be there soon, Mom replied. I couldn't wait to get to the campsite and finally get out of here. We pulled into the campsite just as the sun was beginning to set. Even though it was nearly nighttime, the heat of the day still gripped us and made us feel all hot and sticky. Mom dragged her feet as she made her way from the driver's seat to the bed in the back of the RV. So I'm going to pause just to remind you. That's an example of showing, not telling. I could have said, Mom was tired. But instead, I showed how she was tired. What does tired look like? It looks like she's dragging her feet. It looks like she's going to the bed in the back of the RV. So make sure that in your third body paragraph, you're showing and not telling as well. Um, I also included the heat of the day made us feel hot and sticky. I included my senses in there. So you should make sure that you are also including your senses. Um, back here at this green sentence, as the sun set and darkness, I should say, took hold of the campsite, I could hear a symphony of a million crickets just outside. That was one of my sentences that I had written before, and I included it here. Then something in the darkness caught my eye. It was something I had never seen before. Just outside the window, tiny lights floated in the air and then disappeared. They appeared again. I got my little brother's attention and we stared out at the blink at the small blinking lights. You need to get out there, I whispered to him. We looked to our mom, lightly snoring on her bed. We crept lightly to the door and began to open the hatch. A squeak. My brother and I looked to our mom, nervous of what she would think if she saw us leaving the RV without supervision. Her body shifted, but she stayed asleep. We opened the door and the smell of fresh rain filled our noses as we stepped out. So this is my body paragraph number three. This is what you're writing today as well. My heart beat faster with the excitement of sneaking out of the RV. As we stepped outside, I could taste the pine trees that surrounded us. The soft glow of the mysterious lights 
was a, or was above us, and I realized that they were fireflies. They're beautiful, I whispered to my brother. We stood in the dark. The only thing we saw was from the fireflies dancing in the air around us. We stood in the dark with the fireflies for what felt like hours, and then went back into the RV before our mom woke up. So this is my body paragraph number three. So I highlighted some of the things that you should also be including. So my heart beat faster with the excitement of sneaking out of the RV. I could have just said, I was excited to sneak out of the RV, but instead I'm showing you what excitement feels like. My heart beat faster with the excitement of sneaking out. I included my senses here. I could taste the pine trees that surrounded us. Um, and then here, I just used really descriptive, interesting language. The only light we saw was from the fireflies dancing in the air around us. Of course, fireflies don't really dance, but I'm using what's called personification here. Fireflies dancing in the air around us. It helps to kind of make that little picture in your head. So instead of saying fireflies floating in the air or fireflies flying in the air, I said dancing because it makes it a little bit of a more interesting picture in my head and in the head of my readers. So that is your job today. Your job is to do body paragraph number three in your story. Remember, it needs to be five to seven sentences. If I look here, I had one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. I had seven sentences in this one, and it really didn't take me too, too long to write this, just a couple of minutes. So if you need help, of course, just let me know. I'm always here to help you. Make sure you're using slides 7, 10, and 11 to help you out there. Those slides talk about showing, not telling. They talk about your senses. They talk about all that good stuff. So of course, if you need help, just let me know. But that's all I have for you, and I am so excited to keep reading your stories. Bye, everybody.